right. So uh, we will discuss the individual components of the male reproductive system, and we will start from testes. And as I've said that the testes, they are located outside the body cavity, cavity and they are present in a, in, in a pouch that has been formed by the perennial skin. It's the scrotal pouch. They have to stay outside the body cavity. Why? I'll discuss it later on. But for that, we have to understand that the testes, they actually develop in the lumbar region of the abdominal cavity. Can you imagine? So they are developing along with the kidneys here in this region. The kidneys will be developing. And uh, on the medial aspect of the kidneys, like if these are the kidneys, and medial to the kidneys, the gonads will be developing, both ovaries and testes. So today we are going to talk about the testes only, which are the male gonads. So they are developing in the lumbar region. But they, they, they cannot stay in the lumbar region. They have to get out of the body cavity all the way down into the scrotum. So what is happening that this descent of testes would be happening in the last trimester of pregnancy, the last three months of pregnancy, slowly and gradually, the, the, the developed testes, they will be keep on descending. And you can see over here at the lower poles of each testis, there is a red colored string, like a pull, st pulling string sort of thing. That is known as gubernaculum, okay? It's a, it's a fibrous cord-like structure that is present in the fetal life. And it, this one is responsible for the, you know, pulling down of the two testicles to their ultimate destination, which are the scrotal sacs. So if I say that, Okay, let me use. So what is happening that with time, the size of the gubernaculum is, you know, decreasing. And as the side size is decreasing, and like there is resorption happening in the intrauterine life. So the gubernaculum, as it is getting smaller, it's bringing the testes down with it. So now we have the testes no more at the lumbar level. We are having it lower lumbar and then further resorption of the gubernaculum will lead the testes to come down up to the level of just close to the pelvic cavity or in the sacral region. Then here we will actually look at the, the model but for now, you have to imagine that in the inguinal region, this is the top part of the pelvic cavity, the inguinal region through, like there, there is a canal, the inguinal canal present on either side. And this gubernaculum, actually, I didn't mention its upper pole or upper part or the, the proximal end of the gubernaculum was attached to the distal or the, the lower pole of the testis, each testis. And the distal end of the gubernaculum was attached to uh, or in the base of the scrotum. This is the scrotal sac. It's outside, even outside the pelvic cavity. Okay, so the gubernaculum distal, the gubernaculum's distal end is attached or anchored to the skin of the base of scrotum. Okay, so as it is descending, or it's, it's like it's getting shorter during the fetal life, it is dragging or pulling down the testes through the inguinal canal. And then ultimately, what happens by the end of pregnancy or the last week, it should be, the testes should be descended completely. I will actually show you how the testes has come down. Okay. Forgive my drawing. Okay, this marker is not very good. And here, look at this. Gubernaculum, it just stays as a remnant. Like it's the entire length has been gone. Only the, the very distal part, which is attached to the base of the, of the strotal skin, is left. Okay? And the testes 
from the lumbar region all the way down. They travel through the inguinal canal and they will end it up, they will be ending up in the scrotal sacs on both sides. Okay? So you have to keep this whole journey in your mind because when we'll be talking about the the clinical or the applied aspect of the male reproductive system, we will be discussing an anomaly or, or, or a defect or congenital malformation that is usually uh, evident in many children. And uh, we'll be then referring to all this, whatever we just have discussed. So you just have to, uh, to, to keep in mind that the testes, they start developing in the lumbar region during the last uh, trimester of the pregnancy, the, the testes, they keep on descending and they should be well descended and will be present. They are supposed to be present in the scrotal sacs on both sides by the time the baby is born. Okay, but in, in few cases, uh, the descent gets completed even after birth. But usually uh, they are like normally they are always present in the scrotal sac at the time of birth. So here in front of us, again, the, this is the specimen we are having, the plastinated specimen, showing us the scrotal sac and the testes along with epididymis and uh, the ductus deferens. But the point is, why do the testes have to stay outside the body cavity? Why they are lying outside? The reason is it's physiological because the, the testes, they cannot function. Their function is the production of sperms. So they cannot function properly inside the body cavity because of the high temperature. The body temperature is, it's really hot for the testes. So they have to stay in a colder environment. So they will be, they will be placed outside the body. If the testes re is remain inside the body cavity, there would be, the end result would be their sterility. There wouldn't be any production of sperms, okay? So that's the reason why we have this scrotal sac, why we have all this arrangement. So here in front of us is the, uh, it's the scrotal sac, okay. This is the scrotal skin, which is having the dartos muscle, okay? And at the base of the scrotum was our gubernaculum. Uh, the distal end of the gubernaculum was anchored, okay? That brought or that pulled down the testis up to this level, okay? Here, uh, it's moving, all right. Um, this is the, this ovoid body is the testes, and here, as I have, initially mentioned that the epididymis, which is the uh, like clumped up spaghettis or what you call is the, you know, uh, like, like fine tubules and they are heaped up on top of the superior pole of the testes and they, they like descend down. This epididymis is having different regions. We'll be discussing it shortly. But at this moment, you have to see that uh, this is the arrangement the, the tail of the epididymis is continuing itself as the ductus difference. It's going down, it's going up towards the uh, anti-abdominal wall through the inguinal ring uh, or in the inguinal canal, and then it will be appearing in the uh, abdominal cavity through the deep inguinal ring. Okay. Remember, I mentioned in the beginning that uh, as a result of the failure, like the, when the testes are descending down to the scrotal sac during the last uh, few months of the pregnancy. Sometimes there is a failure uh, for, like there is a failure to descend. In that case, uh, will be like there would be uh, an undescended testis. That condition is known as cryptorchidism. That is why there are many factors that during the intrauterine life, many things can influence this, uh, uh, this uh, thing, you know, the, that uh, undescended testes. But once the testes fail to descend down, you can uh, find the testes either in the, uh, stuck in the inguinal canal, right, within the inguinal canal, or inside the abdominal cavity close to the deep inguinal ring, from where they started their descent towards the, you know, uh, scrotum. So the in case of crypt or charism, the the stuck testes can be found either close to the deep inguinal ring 
or within the inguinal canal. That will lead to sterility. Now, what's the difference between infertility and sterility? In infertility, which is like in case of seal or a very huge hydrocele for a long time, there would be infertility. That is, the, the testes are capable of producing sperms, but the transport of the sperms up to the urethra is not possible. That leads to like disappearance of uh, sperms in the semen. That's infertility. But the sterility is there is no production of sperms at all. Because remember I told you that the testes have to get out of the body cavity to escape the heat of the body. That is, that is the requirement of sperm production. So when the, the testes in crypt or catism is stuck up in the abdominal cavity or within the inguinal canal, which is close to, to the abdominal cavity, obviously the temperature would be high. So there would be no production of sperms at all. That will lead to sterility.